welcome to my channel and welcome back if this isn't your first time we're just gonna get right into today's video because i'm super excited and i'm ready to thrift but this time i'm gonna be thrifting based off of these like cute looks that i found on pinterest i have about four or five outfits that i really really like i'm gonna try to find things that match as close as possible or just kind of have the same vibe if all else fails i'll at least try to make looks that have a similar vibe but I have a good feeling about today. I hope that I can successfully recreate at least two of these looks, honestly. I'm also gonna probably be using what I already have on top of what I find today. This is kind of a reach, cause like who's to say that the thrift store is gonna have cute stuff at all, but I'm gonna test my luck today. I don't know, this video might flop, but I have some hope. I've arrived at the first thrift store of the day, thinking like last year my fall thrift vlog was so good. So the standards are very high right now. Fingers are crossed that today is just our day for thrifting. Okay, let's get this thing started, y'all. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute. This is kind of similar to something that was on the Pinterest board, but I don't know. It's kind of tiny. This is definitely for kids <laughs> and not in the good way. Hold on, hear me out, you guys. This is kind of cute.
the first stop was successful. I cannot complain about it. I could definitely make some of my Pinterest inspired looks off of the pieces that I just thrifted. So I'm really psyched about that. were there but like am I going crazy right now because that thrift trip was the best I've had in a while that was crazy it didn't even start off good but like towards the end I just started getting so lucky out of nowhere like I am too stunned to speak right now those moon boots were sent from heaven oh my goodness like ugh. are you serious and those pink hangers like we just take a second it's about 15 dollars at the first thrift store that i went to they always have really good prices this one was 20 dollars, i think so overall 30 dollar thrift day and i got like a good amount of stuff so i'm really happy about that it's gonna be so good and i cannot wait to make the outfits with these because today has just been blessed by definition i think i'm gonna wrap up with just these two thrift stores because it's like 7 p.m now and i'll continue with the outfit portion either today or tomorrow so we'll see that I thrifted into Pinterest inspired looks and I will say I definitely went searching for more Pinterest looks after I went thrifting. I just wanted to find more things that aligned more with what I ended up getting because it would probably be impossible to just be spot on like that. Some of the looks are going to be more loosely inspired than others. I am very happy with the turnout of my thrifting sessions though. I feel like everything aligns so well with the fall. Like sometimes I go shopping for fall and only find things that I can like layer to make it a fall piece but I feel like this time I did a pretty good job at getting appropriate pieces for the weather so I'm very proud of that. I'm 
still shocked about those moon boots. Like, I don't think y'all understand. I barely ever find shoes at the thrift store. I just want to show you guys that things that are on Pinterest aren't always inaccessible. Like, you can definitely thrift majority of what you see on Pinterest. So I really hope you guys like these cute dolly Pinterest inspired looks that I created and I'm gonna start showing you guys them one by one now. For the first look I'm gonna pair this dress that you guys saw me thrift with this sweater. I just feel like the shades will go really nice together and I just love the cute effortless vibe that like wearing a slip underneath a cute pink cardigan gives. I feel like that would be so perfect for the fall with like some cute leg warmers and tights. So this dress super cute but it is a medium and it's kind of loose so I'm probably gonna hike it up and like tie it. It definitely needs some alterations but for today we're just gonna tie it. We're wearing a jacket over it anyways. Okay, so for the sake of today's video, I'm not going to be participating in any wearing of the tights. I do not feel like rolling them up right now. But here's the look. I just feel like it's so cute. The dress definitely needs to be altered, but it's not too bad. Like... This one's cute. It's not my favorite because the dress didn't fit as well as I wanted it to. So my next look was inspired by this jean t-shirt look with a brown cardigan. I thought this cardigan was going to be absolutely perfect for it. I think it was like an Abercrombie t-shirt that they used. I don't know, but I was hoping to find like a t-shirt from one of those type of brands today, but unfortunately I did not. So I'm just going with this cute baby fat shirt that I thrifted a while ago. I wish the shirt was a bit longer though so that I could have like the same mood as the outfit, but it's okay. Okay, okay, this is cute. Yeah, I think this one is a bit of an upgrade from the last one. Just because it matches a bit more accurately with the inspiration picture. But yeah, it's super cute. I really can't wait to bring out jeans every year. A cowgirl i don't know there's something about this outfit that's giving that of course no look is complete without a bag to match so i think that's really helping tie it together i also think if i found a fur hooded vest that would just be so top tier but unfortunately i didn't and this one matched so well with some brown uggs like on the picture yeah this look is an immediate favorite this is probably the favorite of the entire day. I combined two different looks for this and I think it turned out super cute. So the hair is definitely a factor in this, but I feel like this is kind of giving me Britney. I don't know, I might have just accidentally came up with my Halloween costume. This is so adorable. Absolutely a favorite. is definitely not an exact interpretation of anything that I found but I still wanted you guys to see how cute this looks when it's styled. I'm just super in love with this shirt. It looks so much better while I'm wearing it. Honestly when I got home the next day I kind of had like a thrifter's regret moment. I was like did I really need that kid's pajama shirt but now that I'm wearing it and I have it like sorted out with a look I'm very much glad that I got it because it's so cute. An unpopular opinion but I really like quarter sleeves like this is just a long sleeve that's too short but I really like when long sleeves stop like here and I think this is kind of reminding me of that this is so adorable and I paired it with this Betsy Johnson purse that I love so much So the way I'm styling this final cardigan that I thrifted is going to be me doing my own thing instead of recreating a look off of Pinterest. But you guys have to hear me out because look how cute this goes with this guest sweater and this mini skirt. And this wristlet is just adorable with it. It literally matches perfectly. So that's it for 
today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it all throughout and thank you so much for tagging along with me. I feel like whenever I'm filming, I never have a flop thrift trip. You guys are like my good luck charm, so I love you so much. Don't forget to comment. Let me know which item was you guys' favorite or which outfit gave you the most fall inspo. And also subscribe if you enjoyed your time here. We just celebrated 100K as you can see the plaque in the back. This is your sign to subscribe if you noticed that back there. Love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!